Welcome to our lecture on showing you how to calculate the expected value variance and standard deviation of a probability distribution. For this, I'll be taking an example of the experiment of rolling a die. The outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The probabilities are 1 out of 6 for all of them. We already know that. Fantastic. So here's our uh, probability distribution. Here's our probability distribution. And now I'm going to calculate the expected value, the variance, and the standard deviation. All right, let's begin. So in order to calculate the expected value, I need to calculate the product of all the XPs and add them together. OK, so let's see. It will be x times p. Then I drag it down. So here's all my XPs, and I have to add these up. And that will give me, so the sum of these numbers here will give me the expected value. I want to put them in a yellow column. So if I want to calculate my expected value, I just come to where I write the expected value, and I say sum. And I sum up all these values, because that's what's going to give me the expected value. In order to calculate the variance, I need to calculate x squared times p. Now, let me do that. Let me make it a little wider so it'll be easy for me to do it. So it'll be equals x sorry, squared times p. I drag that down. And here's my x squared p's that I need to use in the process of calculating my uh, variance. So my variance will be the sum of these new set of numbers I've calculated minus the square of what I calculated previously, which is the expected value. So minus the square of the expected value or the mean. And that will be my variance. And my standard deviation is basically the square root of the variance. And that's my standard deviation. And at this point, you could just leave the final answer with any number of decimal places that your instructor has told you so, or you make a decision to go with one decimal place for all of them, which is what I would have done. But anyhow, you'll be instructed as to how many decimal places to leave for your final answer. And this concludes our lecture on calculating the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation of a probability distribution.